Hello everyone. So there was this recent incident that was uh, that was a current news few days back about the boys locker room and I'm sure many of us must have come across it. So now after the the incident was really shocking for many for us and we are absolutely sure about what was right what is wrong we have different we have this opinion we have really formed some opinion as to these uh, boys should get punished and they should be taught a lesson and this should not happen some uh, internet should be banned and also irrespective of what everybody is talking this video does not intend to give any personal opinions on that but uh, as here the i'm taking that as a reference to understand what happens when we are in a group what happens in to the psychology of people in a group how it changes how it affects so the purpose is to take individual responsibility whatever has to happen legally that is that is a different matter and blaming something is is you know not the real solution from the root what can be done and since we all are a part of the society can we take individual responsibility that whenever we are in a group any incident that is uncomfortable that is harming to anybody can can it not be repeated so only if we take that responsibility only if we understand how the psychology works it, i'm sure it will really benefit each one of us to help make society better so i'm just using that group as a reference whether it's any boys group or it's a girls group any any group or it's a men group any time we all have been a part of some group in in, in at any point of our life so we must have been a part of some uncomfortable conversations which uh, may seem very very uncomfortable when we are alone with ourselves or when we are one to one with some other person but when we are in a group casually we talk about lot many things and we all must have experienced this now just because this case has come up it's in the highlights we you know have very strong opinions that is a different thing but i just want you to understand that reflect at yourself at your life when we have been a part of such group some women talking something random absurd which we know later that it's was absurd so what happens i want to i want you to understand it through one famous experiment uh, that was conducted by solomon ash in 1951 Uh, so i don't want to give a, a detail about that experiment but i would really request you to read about that experiment to help you better understand but just to brief give a brief i would start with uh, uh, with a quote that he gave after the experiment was conducted and the results came out ash said that intelligent well meaning young people are willing to call white black is a matter of concern so after the experiment was conducted it was shown that he said that people were willing to call something that was clearly visible as white they were clearly ready to call it black when they were in a group and that was really a matter of concern so what was the, what the experiment was about it was a very simple experiment it was just that there were eight male participant out of which seven were actors and there was only one real participant so all they had to do was they were shown a card that contained a line and subsequently followed by it they were sh showed another card that contained three lines so clearly it was uh, there that in the other card one line was similar in length to the line on the first card and other two were clearly uh, longer or shorter so they had to tell which line on the second card is similar to the first line but so there were 18 trials that were taken and the seating arrangement was such that the actors got the first chance to give the answer and the real participant was uh, gave the answer later after listening to the answers of the actors so it was intentionally made in such a way so initial trials everybody gave the right answer what they could see later on the actors intentionally changed their answers they intentionally gave the wrong answers to just to confuse the participants and it was shocking it came out that 75% of the participant changed their answers after listening to the wrong answer they changed their answer they changed their opinion even after clearly seeing the lines length they changed and uh, in in out of uh, 12 uh, trials they uh, chose to give the incorrect answer however on the other hand when they were individually asked where there was no uh, you know actors the Uh, error rate was less than one percent. 
which shows that they clearly knew the right answer but when they were in the group they were choosing to give the wrong answer after hearing the wrong answers of the other people so it's really dangerous that happens when we are in a group we don't want to take personal responsibility there is diffusion of responsibility we think whatever is happening in a group we don't take individual responsibility for that we think it's everybody else is doing it so everybody else must be a part of it and if anything wrong happens if there are consequences everybody will face it so we get very comfortable there so out of these uh, groups whoever was there in the in the in this um, uh, the, the news the 22 20 or 21 boys out of them only one boy chose to report the incident why did that happen they were randomly adding people and many of them may be leaving the group or uh, conf uh, conforming to it thinking that everybody is doing it so what's the big deal so because there is, the group doesn't have a mind on of, of its own the group doesn't have a real concise so they just act it's a mass so i want you to understand it it can be very dangerous all the people who are uh, watching this video especially the minors because in their mind there is a lot of confusion because we are in this transitional phase on one side we have this core value cultural system especially when it comes to sex it is still legally acceptable and talked about in an institution like marriage apart from it there on the other side we are exposed to lot of material on through internet we are exposed to pornography sex chatting online uh, dating everything and we don't want to take the responsibility to handle it if banning the site wasn't may not really be a good uh, real solution in long term because if you ban one site there are 100 more duplicate sites created so we need to understand that the teachers and parents they have to take the responsibility to talk about it to so that everybody is in the right uh, they are guided properly because it exists and it needs to be catered so that is a societal factor and how it affects psychology is because these children they don't know what happens like they they are added or made a part of such group so there is peer pressure if they have been they see their friends drinking smoking taking anything they might get uncomfortable for a while but then they don't they don't know that there is nobody else to go and approach and talk about it so they think everybody else is doing let's also do it so anybody all of the people who are watching this video especially the minors i would request you that anything that makes you uncomfortable even for a second it gives you a thought whether in a group that whether it's right or not or anybody else who is watching this video if you get uncomfortable please give a thought to it and to all the teenagers i would say that yes there exists a lot of confusion because there are there are lots of things that are changing and we really cannot be sure as to what is right and what is wrong so whenever you are uncomfortable please take the right advice go and approach your parents and ask them there's no harm in asking there is no harm in being uncomfortable for a while you can be uncomfortable there's nothing wrong with it that it you don't have to get easy and go with the group you can go and approach your teachers you can go and approach a counselor there must be there in your school you can go and ask and talk about it what no matter how terrible or shameful the thing might be go and talk about it take the right advice there are people to help you with that get uncomfortable anything that makes you uncomfortable live with it talk about it read about it know about it then only decide whether you want to be a part of it or not because simply just because everybody is doing it doesn't mean it is right and we cannot we don't have to change our opinion we have to stick with our opinion so there were the very independent people who think that okay they also get confused they also might think whether it's right or not but then they choose at the end that i want to stick with my opinion or i want to go with somebody else's opinion so please if you can work over this peer pressure group pressure anybody anybody of uh, us from the society we can choose not to fall victim of the group mentality and do anything in life if we all take this responsibility i'm sure things can be very very better much better in the future and we won't get any of these cases so i hope that was helpful please if you like the video Uh, do share it with somebody with, with whom it can help it can enlighten and also subscribe to my channel take care bye bye